watching either Road Odyssey or Angry Buzzard Autos. <laughs> Well, thank you all for joining me in this video, the fabulous 1960 Thunderbird. So this second generation of Thunderbirds were really taking off. And having seen several Thunderbirds recently, I've looked into them a little bit in the past and I thought well I would dig a little bit more and find out a little bit more about this car or this particular generation uh, the first generation is cool they really uh, gave the Corvette a run for its money uh, at least eventually in this second generation Classified more as a luxury car, but still very, very sporty and very fast. Uh, this car is just wonderful. So, wanted to share with y'all some more of my thoughts on this car and what I researched when kind of, I don't really want to buy one, but I was kind of curious. So, um, the hook was baited and I thought about it. So, uh this is just what I found out and wanted to share it with you. So here we go into the video. The second generation ran from 1958 to 1960. Ford executives were concerned about the car's position as a two-seater limiting their sales. So as a result, they redesigned it as a four-seater. The new Thunderbird, in this case, just sold crazy numbers. Four times the results of the two-seater. And this success made it become a personal luxury car. The 1960 Thunderbird originally sold for between $3,700 and $4,200. There were 80,938 of these T-Birds produced. The Ford Thunderbird, even today, for the second generation, is extremely dependable. Very little needs to be done, if anything, in order to ensure that this car runs reliably.
second generation was Motor Trend's Car of the Year. In 1959, it had the optional 350 horsepower, 7 liter V8. So you could get a good 185 horsepower out of this with 381 pound-feet of torque. Its top speed was approximately 114, 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds and a quarter mile drag time of 15.9 seconds. Now, the 1960 Ford Thunderbird 430 Special V8 Cruzomatic Automatic, which is what I'm looking at, had a 354 horsepower, 490 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds, quarter mile drag time of 15.3 seconds. Time to get into the issues. No, not magazine issues. Yes, car issues. The 1960 Thunderbird literally has very few issues. One issue is replacing the starter motor. This can be extremely difficult. A second issue is the transmissions do not have replaceable filters. A third issue is the automatic transmissions have a plate inside of them that can fail and lead to sloppy shifting. A reproduction is available and it is a very good fit for this car. The last main thing to look at for these cars are the drains for the front cowl and in the rear quarter panels there's also a drain so you need to check all of these and look for rust. This 1960 second gen Ford Thunderbird selling for 11500 or best offer. Is that a good value? I saw a wide range of prices, so here on eBay I saw some that might be comparable. They are anywhere between about $6,000 to $10,000. The average price in Hemmings was about twenty-five dollars to $26,000. You can find some very nice ones for twenty-five dollars or less on Hemmings. Auto Trader had very similar pricing to Hemmings. I found this one at under nine grand, but not in nearly as good of condition. Haggerty values the T Bird as follows Fair, 6,400. Good, 12,100. Excellent, 18,500. And beyond excellent, at minimum, 29,400. As a result, $11,000 for the Thunderbird within this video that's for sale probably is a good price. Just for fun, while I was out on the highway, I was going from Bonham towards Sherman and Denison. I spotted this Thunderbird for sale and just thought I'd add it into this video. Alright, well thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much. And please give me all your thought droppings as to anything you think about this fabulous Thunderbird. So y'all have a great day. Try to relax. Take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye.